interface. You're using, you're not using this TNC. All this is is a sound card. It's just mm -hmm. a computer sound card, an extra computer sound card. Um, you have to use a piece of software called AGWPE. It was written by SV2 AGW. And it's AGW's packet engine. And he provides it for free. He's also got a paid version that has a lot of extra goodies that most people don't need, but you know, anyway. All right, now I usually use this thing called AGW Monitor, written by the same guy, which just shows the packets going in and out. It's not doing anything. That's how you see that. It's just showing the packets. Okay. And then finally, there's Packlink. Takes a minute to come up. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Packlink is provided by the Winlink people. It's the interface between your email client and your um, your station, and, and and the packet, I should say between your email and the packet. It's going to take the email messages, it's going to form them up into packets. It's going to put the proper headers and footers and everything else that WinLink needs. So, um, the right frequency? Uh, and the frequencies are the top. Huh? The frequencies are the top. Packlink is this one, okay? No, I say the frequency. <laughs> Uh, 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 no, that, that's something else. This 146, yeah. Yeah, no, that's something entirely different. Okay. Okay. Um, the frequency you set on your radio, so I've already got a pre-program for the frequency I know the M1EZT station is on. Uh -huh. Which is? Well, uh, 145, this one is 145.030. Um, and you know, I forgot to do send me an email. Well, what I sent you one. When? The, tonight? I the WB2RIV? Uh, I sent it to the okay, well, let's see. about uh, so I've, I've a couple already, hours ago. Okay, so I've mm -hmm. already set up in my pack link all the information about N1EZT. Okay, um, I, uh, that's already set up, so it's going to try to call N1EZT-10. That's the, the, identifier, the identifier of the station. Where is it located? Yeah. Okay, oh. now it responded. It's got in right away. Okay, got in right away. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and, now and now it's going through the various hand, yeah, handshakes and protocol. Okay. Yeah, I see the packets. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah. John, what power are you running right now? Uh, 50 watts. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I have no idea, you know, what's between here and Frank's house. This, this literally should be computer on the sheet now. Oh, yeah. Put the computer on the sheet now. I think it's good for you. Put the computer on the sheet now. Yes. Yes. Don't get shot. Yeah, what's and what's so happening is it's negotiating with with Frank's, with the machine that's at Frank's house, and then the machine that's at Frank's house is talking to the Winlink server. In this case, it's connected to... You can tell us where is it? Oh, Wien. It's yeah. back in Vienna. Yeah. It's, it okay. happens to be going to the Windling server in Vienna. You know it? Austria? Huh? Austria, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's asking the Windling server in Austria to, is there anything for WB2 or YB? <laughs> the Austrian server is going, are you kidding? <laughs> and the Austrian server, no, no, the Austrian server has said there sure is. Yeah, here it comes. Okay. And what's happened is it's actually said. I, I can understand some of what the, this stuff is saying, but the Austrian server says yes. They, they have. There's a server in Halifax. There's a server in uh, Australia. There's a server in um, Vienna. And I forget the others. Uh, Australia, Seattle area, or something. Like that. I don't remember now. Okay. So what's happened is it's received a message, 250. It's 250 cool. bytes total of 100, 137 bytes in the message, 250 total when you have all the, the yeah, packet garbage around. And it sent the message, I received it. It's now saying, it's now saying it's got one message to go to my email client. See wow. that one down there? Uh -huh. So that's, that's it, that's what happened. It sent that message. That's a lot of uh, handshake, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If you're doing a bunch of messages at once, it's not nearly as bad. Uh, for example, for field day, from our field day site, I sent 22 messages 
via Frank's, via the machine at Frank's house, from, from our field day site, it took 25 minutes to send them. One of, the, one of those messages, by the way, two of those messages had 5K attachments that I sent to Wayne and to Betsy. And neither of them ever acknowledged them. But I knew they got them. <laughs> I said, yeah, you open up your email from the Yeah, now I'm going to open up my email. Yep. Now, does that mean that if you have 10 people sending, you're going to have to wait for one to get finished before it works yes. up the other one? Yes. He's in queue. Yeah, it won't send it voice, it check to see if the frequency is busy, and it won't send while the frequency is busy. It waits for the frequency to be open. Although, it's capable yeah, of exactly. listening. Okay. You know, I don't, you know, I mean, it could do it because it, it shows different channels, you know, that when they're connected to the, the pack link. Now, when you get sophisticated enough, you can have multiple receivers, you can have multiple radios going into one gateway. Mm -hmm. Or you can have multiple gateways, depending on. But yeah, if this particular one's on 145.030, it's it's on 145.030. Whatever other traffic is on there is going to it could potentially interfere. <coughs> but you can have multiple gateways if we had enough volume. Going to have a dedicated radio for that, or here's what I said. Um, you can certainly need a dedicated radio for the gateway. And here's the message from Frank KB1. It's working. IFX dash three. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Nice. Very but good. he could have told you that right here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't have it tomorrow. Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Yeah, but I sent that. Uh, huh? we're, we're this we're will this will run on XP on Vista and Win Seven. Okay, that's it. Okay. We'll yeah. As usual, there are little some tricks if you're running it under Vista because Vista is a piece of, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> so either go to Win Seven or go to or stay with XP. John. So you, you launched the, the AGW software, um, which then connected to the, connected to the radio and logged onto the uh, or connected to the Winlink server. Well, AGW is is a ser it's a piece of service software. It's not doing anything. Packlink is it, okay. It's, Packlink it's, is is talking via AGW to the radio. Right. AGW is intermediating between the right. sound card right. and the software. So, so 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 it connected mm -hmm. and, and it. it Handshake and it said, "Hey, do you have any traffic?" And it said, "Yes, here you go." And then it was done sending it. It terminated the connection. Yes, so they're not connected anymore. That's correct. Okay. That's, now I could reply to Frank. I don't want to waste everybody's time. I could reply to Frank and then send it. it same kind of thing would happen. Gotcha. But you, you can reply by using normal email. This is my normal Outlook Express. And, and then you, know, you type. I got it. Yeah. And then automatically goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It goes, it goes, it goes two things. If the uh, if the internet is down, I can send it out, you know, to another station as a packlink set up, and then it can come into the internet that way. So we've tested it out both ways, or you know, uh, right? Yeah. If if the internet yeah. is working, yeah. I can just send it via the internet. And it's gonna, right. But the whole so idea is, we're, if the internet is working, they don't need us. Right. You know, this is for where the internet is down, the phones are down, they need communication. They need to be able to send files. Yeah. Or you're communicating with an area where the internet is right. down. Yeah. You know, and, that, and that's why the servers are all over the world, because the, the assumption is that there is a large scale but partial failure of the internet, not, yeah, a, not a total problem. worldwide that's, failure. That's the right. philosophy, yes. Right. So, there's, so, the, it's open. so the emails are distributed to all the servers around the world, and whichever one right. you can log into will, will deliver it to you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the, by I, I don't know what the algorithm <laughs> is for deciding which one it logs into, but on different logins you'll get Vienna, you'll get Australia, yeah. you'll get Halifax, you'll get... I know there's one down in the Washington area that's out of service at the moment, but you'll get... There are five of them total. But they're distributed around the world so, that, so as to try to, to, to maximize the chance that one of them is working. Okay, John, I've got a 20-year-old 2-meter radio. Mm -hmm. I've got a 10-year-old desktop computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will they work? And what other expenses do I have, TNC, et cetera, to put a system together? Okay, what is your 10-year-old computer running? What, what operating system? Uh, let's say it's running XP. Then... Uh, the 20 year old radio should work as long as it's in proper working order. You know, if you tune it to 143, 145.030, it's really going to transmit on 145.030. Um, Do I need a PL? No. 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 See, so yeah, whatever you're using for PSK will work for this. 
Yeah, well, but he's not he's not doing his PSK on VHF. He's, you said you got a 20 oh, year yeah, old right. two, eight, two meter rig. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. You can go something as simple as this. This is about a hundred bucks. That's all you need. Okay. Actually, if your computer's 10 years old, you probably need a serial to USB interface too, which is another 20 dollars. That's uh, well. Let's see what he can find. Let's see what that was. That was this last message. It was n one easy t to some beacon. I don't know. The beacons. Yeah. yeah. So, but you you uh, all you need all you need is one of these. You can do it with the rig blaster. There's the Donner digital interface. You can buy the TNCX for fifty to hundred dollars. It's fifty dollars as a kit, a hundred dollars pre-built. Um, MFJ has just come come out with their equivalent of the TNCX. It's a little bit more money, probably not as high quality. <laughs> I can say that. Um, uh, I don't know if you've seen the latest catalog. MFJ has come out with their own version of the Buddy Pole, their own version of the Rig Blaster, their own version of the si Signal Link, their own version of everything. Um, even their own version of some of the L-Craft rigs. But they're slightly different. Yeah, and they're MFJ. Uh, <clears throat> Alan, MFJ is one of the big manufacturers. Uh, MFJ is the guy's initials, uh, but it usually is known in the, in the as, uh, as mighty fine junk. That's Anyway, that, that's, that's it. Now, this is my regular email point. This is what I do my regular email. I got 